to supply the army. How does somebody supply the army? How do you actually come up with 120,000 meals a day? How do you come up with uh, 100,000 bullets, or quarter million bullets, and cannonballs and things? How, how do you do that? Well, here we go. Here comes Poland. I need so and so many meals a day. So that means you need a lot of grain and a lot of fodder for the horses. So I'm living in Germany, but I have a cousin who lives near the Polish border, and he has a friend who has a cousin who lives in Poland. That guy works for Kamp and the other one works for Kamp Czartoryski, and they've got uh, lots of grain. And it's a matter of business. You know, if the numbers work out, and supply and demand, and you tell this cousin, who tells Shmerel, who tells Beryl, all the rest of it, I want to buy up every piece of grain in this province now for this, for, for, for this season. And tell your other friends over there, you know, Mordechai and Shmordechai and Kordechai, that they should buy up all the grain over there because we have a market for it. The market is the king of France or the king of Sardinia or the, you know, the Grand Duke of Baden or something like that. You see? And same thing when it comes to making iron. Here's the, where the iron ore is, and there's a place in Germany where they manufacture it. But I know Ira Friedman has all the uh, contacts with the iron ore people, and Schmel Friedman has the contact with the German people, and then it's got to be transported over here, and that's how he did it. If you, it's, it's, I mean, it sounds like I'm making fun of it, but it's really remarkable that all these uh, military campaigns were um, on the supply end run by Jews. That's what they call the Hope Student. And it was all backstabbed, backstopped by uh, these Polish guys who uh, can deliver the material, deliver the goods. You go to Count Potosi, I have great news, there's a war in Italy. And that means, that means, remember all those extra fields we didn't know what to do with? It's sell all top dollar. You see? You know that extra forest we didn't know what to do with? You now make a mint. Because the Queen of England is having a war with the King of France, and the Navy is going to build it, and the kind of wood you have is a good wood, and so on and so forth. This is how life was done once upon a time.